A few hours' drive from the New York art market, Mark Cohen lives in Wilkes-Barre, a small town in the hills of Pennsylvania. He discovered using the flash for contemporary photography. You know, watch the different things that happen. Bring the camera up very close. And um, you know, I could try to make a picture of his neck. You want to watch it because it's right over here. You know? You don't make a picture of your neck, you know? Like that. Just like this gold chain, like this gold chain by his neck, you know? Maybe his eyes, the way a hair is blown in his eyes. Make a picture like that. But this is very unusual because it's like, you know, we're cooperating in the middle of a very strange sort of thing to happen, right? You're not kidding. You're not kidding. Mark Cohen runs a photo studio in his hometown. He photographs weddings and shoots portraits. But once a day, he breaks out and flashes to his heart's content. I'm going to do the girl against the wall there. Well, there's a definite social interaction that happens, some kind of thing that happens between me and the people I take a picture of. I, I invade their space and try to make something happen with the camera when I, when I go in very close and try to make pictures with... Uh, you know, with the flash and the small camera and go very close to someone, you, you really do trespass, in a way, on their space. And also, the such kinds of subjects that I pick out, many times they're, uh, you know, details of, of people or small parts of them. A lot of times they're very sexually related and sometimes they're related to children that are in... Uh, disadvantaged circumstances. Sometimes they're related to old people. I don't know. This is the thing I never heard. I don't know. Certain themes run through the work all the time, and it does become some kind of social, psychological document about my vision, about what I look at and how I respond to people in the environment. And I would never use a flash. I always wanted to just take pictures straight with like a 50 millimeter lens and just make straight literal photographs of things. But when I started to use a flash, because of the effective speed of the flash, the thousandth of a second that the flash goes off, I found that I could come in very close, and with a 28 millimeter lens or a 21 millimeter lens, I'd have a pretty uh, long depth of field, maybe two feet or three feet depth of field, and then I could see someone just walking straight by the street or running down the street and put the camera right next to them and take a picture at a thousandth of a second. So we're trying to make some pictures of the people like coming out of the office. Like wow. five o'clock, like, there'll be a lot of people around. Quarter to five to five. Yeah. yeah. This is a picture I took near Wilkes-Barre, in a small town near Wilkes-Barre. And I was just driving around looking for a place to stop, looking for a place to take pictures. And I saw this young girl. Got this girl's legs, you know, like the nice, her, her legs. sort of followed her down the street for a few steps and then crouched down and made a picture because I was interested in her sock and her leg in the picture. And all the many, many things in the picture that I didn't see and couldn't imagine at the time I took the picture, like the shadow and the way the knee would point to this edge and this beautiful edge, this broken edge that happens in this other shadow that comes out and the way this knee points to this shadow and then this mysterious sort of space that happens in this dark area here. Gente, não, olha. Olha, Maria, lá. 
<laughs> Cinematic workshop discussions about an art form in our day and age with Harry Callahan. Nearly all of them, I would say, straight photography. Mark Cohen. Ralph Gibson. Joel Myrowitz. Dwayne Michaels. Lisette Model. Die Welt ist so groß und so frei und es gibt so vieles. Stephen Shore, John Sharkovsky, Gary Winogrand, and Robert Frank. Ich, mein Leben, Paradise in Marbu, in Canada. Die Hölle in New York. Hell in New York. <laughs> okay.